What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and last week I did a video talking about five characters I never want to see making in Mortal Kombat again and just as expected a lot of people got mad about it but at the end of that video I told y'all I had five characters left so today we are taking a look at five more characters that I think should never return to Mortal Kombat. <sighs> y'all are really gonna hate me for this one but let's get into it. Run, run, boy. They coming on. All right, put your seatbelts on and let's jump right in because we are starting off hot. The first character I never want to see added to another Mortal Kombat roster again is Smoke. Again, I'm joking. But shout out to everybody who agreed with me when I did it last time. Y'all said it, not me. But we are still starting off pretty hot because for whatever reason, this is a character that people seem to love for some reason and it's a character that I actually hate more than anybody who has ever been in Mortal Kombat, even Smoke in Devora. This guy sucks and that guy is Shinnok. The design is bad. He looks like a court jester. And not only that, any game he shows up in, he completely ruins it. He showed up first in Mortal Kombat 4 alongside Quan Chi, and Quan Chi just seeing him on the side of the arcades and stuff, he looked like a better boss than Shinnok ever was. Let's go ahead and check out the bio to see if there's any way we can save this man. Banished to the Nether Realms for crimes committed against his once fellow Elder Gods, Shinnok is freed from his confines by Quan Chi. With the aid of a traitor, he then is able to overtake the realm of Edenia. From there, he wages a war against the Elder Gods and awaits a chance to enact revenge against the god who banished him there in the first place, and that was Raiden. Now this is where things get sticky because this is Shinnok's bio from Mortal Kombat 4 and it does not mention the fact that he is Raiden's father. Now, some people will say it's not canon, but we found out that Shinnok is Raiden and Shao Kahn's father in Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which John Tobias did have his hands on that story. And it was not only confirmed there, because if you look at Raiden's bio in Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe, which is also canon as Mortal Kombat 8, it confirms here, Raiden. When his brother Shao Kahn, Emperor of Outworld, finally invaded Earthrealm. So, this confirms it. Raiden, Shao Kahn, they are brothers, and Shinnok is their father. But that was in the previous universe, and things have been shaken up. Because as we can see, Raiden is clearly a human, and General Shao, I guess he's a dragon. I guess he's a dragon. So, where do we go with Shinnok? Does Liu Kang even have the power to remove him as an Elder God? If Raiden could banish him into the Nether Realm, then Liu Kang has to have some type of juice, right? I don't know. That's the thing I'm interested in. And I hate to say it, but as long as he looks different, I wouldn't hate to see Shinnok return. Ugh, I cannot believe I even just said that. But there are some interesting things we can do with this story if they make it clear. If he's General Shao's self-high-praised, esteemed father, then you know what? Maybe it could work. Ugh. Yikes. Let's get out of here. Cause ugh. Did I just save Shin up? That is disgusting. Let's go ahead and move on to the next character. And there is no saving this man. Blaze, I'm sorry, buddy, but you gotta go. He's literally just Cinder from Killer Instinct with some leopard skin booty shorts on. We already tried to save Blaze in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, and it didn't work. It wasn't good. Yeah. Even a weaker boss than Shinnok, he was a guy who looked like he was trying to be the boss. So, what's the story? The mysterious outworld elemental known as Blaze has long been on a quest throughout the realm. During his quest, he was ambushed on a bridge by an ancient sect of holy men still serving the long dead Dragon King. So, was that Hornbuckle? On the pit, we saw uh, the man on fire in the background fighting some other guy who I believe his name is Hornbuckle. I guess that was him taking down Blaze. The holy men enslaved him through mystic incantations and forced him to protect the last known great dragon egg. For many years, he has remained submerged beneath the molten rock of the incubation chamber as the guardian of the egg. <sighs> sure, we, we need Onaga back. We gotta get Onaga back as the final boss in the next Mortal Kombat game, not a story expansion. He needs to be the big boss of the next game, but 
we don't need to see blaze i don't think we need blaze to get there so cancel christmas on blaze for good because he is not good now it's time for me to kind of piss y'all off this next character is booty cheeks and people for some reason pretend like they like him i don't get it the next character is no taru this is a guy I don't ever need to see. Look at the bio, bro. Look how long the bio is. Yikes. Let's see what this guy's got going on. There is an order to the universe. Laws that all nature must obey. For centuries, I have imposed order on those who would wreak havoc. Outworld has long been a source of disruption, but an old ruler has made a triumphant return. During Onaga's rule, his military forced peace throughout his domain. I will see that his return brings order to this war-torn realm once more. I will fight against the insurgents to clear a path for the Dragon King's coming. Years ago, I fought against the vile Tarkatan warriors. I vowed to protect the outworld city of Li Chen from the attacks of Shao Kahn. Times have changed. Now, I find myself aiding Baraka and his troops. I pledged loyalty of the city to Onaga and began my mission to stop the uprising against him. Baraka's militia have brought word of an Earthrealm warrior named Sub-Zero who has slain many Tarkatan. Come on now, Hotaro, you was winning me over right here. Don't mess it up. Don't mess with Sub-Zero. I will bring him before the justice of the Dragon King. You know what? When I started this video, I thought there was absolutely no way we could save Hotaru, but after reading the bio, I think it could work. If we are going to get Onaga in Mortal Kombat 13, he sounds like a good soldier, so, and somebody we can kill. You know, we need some characters that we can actually kill in this Mortal Kombat story for shock value, and I think he might be one of those guys. So, I'm not going to take him off the table. My biggest problem with him is I don't like his design. He looks like a cheap version of Raiden with Scorpion's third alt costume on or something. We got to get him a new look, but if we do that, take those flags off of his back, I think Otaro has a chance. So I say, let's get him in the next game, but I wouldn't be mad at all if they ended up killing him. So Hotaru, you made your way, buddy. You're off the table. The next character I have here is Cobra. I got Cobra. Now, I'm going to be up front with y'all. Cobra's a character I'm sure a lot of people would cancel Christmas on, but I actually like the guy. After seeing him in Mortal Kombat Snowblind, he won me over. If we get Cobra back with a design like this, cook. Make him a pretty boy instead of whatever he was here, because I thought they were just trying to go all kin, like Ryu with him, and it wasn't a good direction. But this Cobra that we saw in Mortal Kombat Snowblind perfect great mortal kombat character he's kind of like vega in a mortal kombat game let's take a look at his bio and see if it would work i had always wondered if my martial arts training would work in an actual fight well bro what are you training martial arts for if you think it's not going to work in a fight strike one against cobra i trained in school for years i was the best in my class but we were never allowed to hurt each other really hurt each other how did I know this attack would break an arm? That this one would rupture an organ? I prowled the back alleys of New York in search of an opportunity to put my skills to the test. Ooh, sounds like we need to get this man in jail. I needed to know what combat really was. I couldn't stop. The thrill of combat consumed me. I had killed. First, it was drug dealers and gangbangers. So he was Batman. It allowed me to justify the violence. I killed for money. Ooh. Well, never mind. He's not Batman. Looking for convenience stores and gas stations. When the law finally caught up with me, I couldn't remember how many had died. Sitting cuffed in a police car, I heard some of the officers shouting and firing guns. When some chick in a mask guy with bloody hook swords stepped into the light, I knew I was in the company of friends. Now, Cobra is another character who right now is kind of on the dark side of Mortal Kombat. I don't know if we ever see him again. And if we do see him again, he's probably just going to be a cameo. But I think this is a character that could work if you told the right story with him. Tell it like you were telling it in Mortal Kombat Snowblind. Even if he is a character who dies off, you know what? I think it's fine. We can at least get one good game out of him. So, Cobra, we're not going to cancel Christmas on you, young man. Now, there is one more fighter here. Wow, this is supposed to be characters we haven't seen, and these bios have convinced me that some of them can make it back. But this guy, I don't even got a bio for him. 
is big old Moloch. I got it. I got it when we first saw him. I was like, okay, they're trying to do the Goro thing again, but this guy just ain't it. Goro's great. Perfect. Maybe the best pre-boss of all time. Kentaro's good. Moloch, unfortunately, is not. He just looks like a knockoff that tried to be those guys, but he wasn't good enough to get there. So I will be canceling Christmas on Moloch today. I don't even want to close off this video because I can't believe I'm leaving Shinnok on the table. I just want to make it clear, I do not ever want to see Shinnok as a final boss again unless he's given a better story and a better look. Make him an angelic character to start off with. Maybe he's on Liu Kang's side and then we see him doing some backstabby stuff and then he's sent to the nether realm where he becomes a demon. You know, like a fallen angel, like Satan. Make Shinnok like Satan, I guess. But what do y'all think? I know I can't be the only one who hates Shinnok. Do you share that sentiment? Let me know in the comment section, but don't forget to drop a like on the video and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Peace.